and it is less than 10 minutes. You'll be set up, ready to enjoy your campsite. Unclip it and roll it out. You've basically got everything you need. Hi guys, it's Daniel here from Conqueror 4x4. I'm here with the fabulous UEV 14, and what we're gonna talk about briefly is the kitchen and the dining. Now, again, it's probably really important that we all acknowledge that the heart of a home is a kitchen. I'd say the same thing about a camper trailer. The heart of the camper trailer and the experience is the cooking, the enjoyment, the sitting around the table, having a good time and enjoying each other's company. So it's a really important part of the experience. So um, if you haven't seen our video on storage, check it out because it's really good and it covers off the fact that we've got everything ready to rock and roll when we do get to camp. And remembering, if you have plastic tubs in your current camper trailer, sell it, get rid of it, you don't need it because the less work you have to do when you get to camp, the more enjoyment you can have around the table. So what I'm gonna do here is run you through the kitchen and the dining. So first of all, we've gotten to our campsite. Let's just imagine we've pulled it up. We've either unhitched or we haven't, it doesn't matter. We're gonna pull the kitchen out. And we can see here, all I've gotta do is unclip it and roll it out. Now that that's rolled out, what I'm going to want is I'm gonna want powder everything so I can use it. So in that case, I'm gonna walk around to this side of the trailer where we have a couple of our storage pockets. One great upgrade on the UEV 14 is now the gas line actually has a quick connect. So you simply put your quick connect straight into your um, cooktop and back here, as you can see, you've got a bayonet connection straight into your trailer. So I'll put the bayonet connection into the trailer, snap it onto there, and I've actually got gas. Remember, the gas bottles are in the front, they're turned on, we're ready to rock and roll. So, so far, what I've done there straight away is I've set the camper trailer up to cook, and that's important. Whether it's a cup of tea, whether it's something that you want now or later, you need to be able to just turn it on and for everything to work. While we're over this side of the trailer, there's two things to talk about. One is the UEV 14 has Airbag Man airbags. So when we have rocked up to camp, if we're on a slight angle at all, I can lift either the left or the right hand side in literally a minute by turning on my gauge and adjusting it up or down. Okay, I'm not gonna go to that trouble now, but I can tell you there's nothing worse than if you've got the kitchen facing the sky or if you've got the kitchen facing the ground. You just want it nice and level. Uh, one little tip that I would always consider is if you're gonna get, get to use your kitchen pretty quickly, pull it out then level, because sometimes the weight of the kitchen when it rolls out, if you're on soft ground, might actually put your balance out just a little bit. So just a little tip um, for you to, to think about. I'm gonna jump around a little bit here because now I'm gonna to go to the table. In the 490, our table fits inside and it's been one of our signature features that, we, that people really enjoy. So when we were thinking about the UEV 14, we had to incorporate a table. It was a non-negotiable. So what we've been able to do is incorporate the table into the front of the trailer. The, this one currently has the stone guard on, which is a very simple studs that you push in and you pull the table straight down and I've actually got one set up over here that I'd like to show you. So you can see here, this is the table that is actually sitting behind the stone guard. Now, a couple of things to consider with this table. One, it's set at height for camp chairs, which is great. It's got fantastic length. You can have six people easily sit around here. It is metal, which means it's a non-porous um, uh, top, and that makes it fantastic, especially if, you, if you've got things that have spilt on there or you've got cooking residue. And if you look at it, first of all, it's very light. It's a one-person job to get it down. And when you are packing it away, it's got a couple of little clips here. So you can see that when you are putting it away, your little clip, you clip your legs in, both sides. So if I clip these in, both sides. Now I will simply lift it up. And if you look at that, that's one arm lifting. It can go straight up and bolt into place. So that's your table. So we've got our gas set up. We've got our table set up. Now what we want to do is we want to have a look at the actual kitchen setup itself. Back onto this side, a great feature now of the kitchen is that we happen to have another little storage table with some spring 
little uh, lock supports up there. This is really good. Someone can be sitting here around the kitchen. Let's think about how kitchens actually work. If somebody's on this side, at home usually somebody's on the other side. You can use this as a chopping board. You can prepare things on here. You can be getting things off the cooker and putting them on here. It's a really handy little table to have around the kitchen. I'm not going to walk past this section without explaining two things. One, this is a remote control for your Snowmaster fridge. This is a really, really great feature. Um, two things on it that stand out. One, it's great to magnetise at the end here. So if you ever want to know what temperature your fridge is running at, you can just open the door, have a look at the end, and there it is. You can take this into the car with you as well. Um, if you're going long distance, whew, these are extremely reliable, but wouldn't you want to know if you've got a power failure or something like that in the trailer? This will tell you and will start alerting you. And it's also got a little solar panel on, the, on one side. So if you do have it in your car, leave it on your dashboard, solar panel will keep the battery charged and off you go. Here's the sink. With the sinks, I tend to keep those right here in my second pantry, where you've got two extremely um, generous drawers and here is your sinks. Now there's a couple of little features on this that are fantastic. One is they are removable and I've got to tell you the amount of times that's come in handy is unbelievable. You've got two of them, so you can run one dirty, you can run one clean. And they've also got little plastic markers in there that sort of lock into place so they don't slip off as well. I've got to tell you, if you haven't used a dual sink that you can simply pull away and use the water for a secondary purpose without having um, sort of plugs and different things below you, you'll never look back. You mix a tap. Everything I'm showing you here, by the way, is standard. It comes standard with the UEV14. Not one thing I've shown you is an option. You mix a tap here, you have instant gas hot water, and, um, and you can use that between the two. It's absolutely fantastic. So if we come around, let's have a look at the drawers and have a look at what we give you to prepare for your camping trip ahead. So if you have a look inside here, it's a signature Conqueror feature to have everything here ready for you to go. You've got everything from coffee cups, wine glasses, water glasses, bowls, you name it. It's all here. The good thing about this is that, let's say for example, if there's only two of you that like to have um, a, a small glass of wine, then you can put children's cups in there and they fit in the same slot. It's a very, very handy drawer. Little snap lock to close that. Now we look at the bottom drawer. And again, everything here comes standard, ready for you to go and enjoy the outdoors. You've got all your cutlery with its own individual spacing. You've got plates, you've got soup ladles, you've got sharp knives. You've basically got everything you need. Um, you'll personalise it a bit yourself. You'll grab a few things from home that you like to use, but this drawer is ready for you to rock and roll. Now, the cooker, it's a two burner. It's a Dometic system. It's, um, it's got, this acts as a wind guard at the back. It's obviously, we've plugged it into the gas at the front. It instantly lights up. You can usually, if it's the morning and you've arrived somewhere, as you're setting things up, you might have the kettle on there. Remember, you've kept the kettle in your drawer here, nice and close to you. You've got water easily to access. Turn it straight on, kettle on, start and finish, um, or continue, I should say, setting up. With the Snowmaster, We've had a relationship with Snowmaster ever since the beginning of Conqueror's inception. One thing I can say that's a fantastic feature of this Snowmaster is because it is a stainless steel top, you can use it as a multi-purpose surface. So um, listen, I'm guilty as charged. Sometimes I've cut things on here. I've put a, a drying cloth on here and put things on as a bit of a drying rack. You can use this, actually use it for separate purposes. And each fridge uh, uh, section or freezer section has its own um, door to open up. At the moment we've got our little chocks in here because the fridge is not on and we don't want the um, we don't want the fridge to smell. So there we have it. We've got our kitchen, we've got our table. We're basically in, in only a few minutes we've been able to set up at camp, we can either start cooking, we can have a cup of tea, we can grab a cold beer, we can grab some biscuits and cheese, whatever we want. I'll challenge you to say that when you arrive in less than 10 minutes, and it is less than 10 minutes, you'll be set up, ready to enjoy your campsite. So that's the kitchen and the dining. Hope you enjoyed it, and I certainly hope to see you out on the trails.